Welcome to Organize with professional organizer Rachel Seavey. Every Sunday at 6 p.m., Rachel shares her expertise and compassionate approach to help you deal with overwhelming clutter. Rachel? Hey, collectors! Welcome to the Organize podcast. I'm your host, professional organizer Rachel Seavey. And welcome! We are on week seven of our clutter free summer challenge. And this is an easy one to catch you up from week number six, if you're doing two weeks at a time. We're talking about something we actually all have, expired food. Yes, even dates slip by me, collectors. The other day, after eating it, of course, I realized I was using salad dressing that was six months expired. Caesar dressing at that. And my stomach just turning even now thinking of, oh, the eggs and the sardines and maybe it was rancid. But, you know, I was fine. I actually had no symptoms of being sick and it tasted just fine. But just knowing it was expired made me feel sick. Talk about psychosomatic. So how are you collectors? Do you cringe when you see that you're eating expired food? Or do you just see it as a way for manufacturers to be getting more money out of you and getting you to buy some more stuff because you're throwing stuff out and it's still good. And I've had many collectors, not just a handful, but many collectors tell me that if a can isn't bulging, it's fine. And I've seen you eat food out of a 20 year old can and tell me it's still good. No matter what you think, personally about expiration dates or whether you're like me and you feel grossed out if you just see a date that's passed um, or or if you wait for things to bulge or if you use just, you know, the smell test. I want you to get rid of three expired food items. And this could be rancid cooking oil. Cooking oil goes bad, y'all. I can't see a, any use for rancid cooking oil. Uh, you could look in your refrigerator if it's still running and it's not blocked i know you've got something in there that's nasty and it doesn't even have to be you know in a in a can or a jar i mean it could like i said open up that fridge it could be your leftover outback steakhouse that you shoved in the back last fall or the cheese that's turning green or some of that slimy lunch meat that spoiled last year anything edible in your home that has expired needs to go this week. And I know this is hard for you. I understand that when you waste food, it psychologically messes with you. A lot of us don't want to be wasteful and throwing away food that could potentially be good is just too much to fathom. So it could be, you know, that withered sweet potato, that fell under your table and now has miraculously started to sprout and flower. Um, it could be that thing or it could be all the way down to that slice of cake you got from the senior center that you've got a napkin over. It was like a month ago and you keep telling yourself it's still good. This is week seven. This isn't week one. We're not you know, tiptoeing around stuff. This is week seven, so we're going to be ruthless. And some of you listening might say, oh my gosh, how is that ruthless? It's expired food. But honestly, I deal with this on a regular basis. People do not want to throw out gum, you know, that could potentially be 10 or 15 years old, or candy, or cough drops, or it doesn't really matter how old it is. If it looks or smells okay, they're going to keep it. But it's these kind of items that are holding us back. Items that we don't really need, but we've guilted ourselves into thinking we're wasteful because we threw them out. Um, so you're not going to feel wasteful this week and you're going to get rid of rotten food. And you're going to feel like you're taking good care of yourself. You know, part of loving yourself is not eating food that will make you sick. I understand you're trying to make a point and you truly you know, feel guilty getting rid of food that you think is, is expired. But I want you to be proud of yourselves 
as you get rid of it for sticking through all the way through this challenge. And you don't need to start the fall with expired food in your fridge and expired food in your cabinets, you know? So based on what you feel is expired or not, I know that you can find some things in your kitchen or around the house that are gross. You're not only throwing away, you know, rotten food, toxic food, you're throwing away these limiting beliefs of being wasteful and not being worthy of fresh food. You know, if you had fresh food around, you would know whether it was good or not. And when it's not good, you get rid of it. And so you've got to get yourself some fresh food. Don't, you know, sit around and eat old cans full of things and, and, feel, you know, like you're not worthy of eating anything fresh and healthy. And if you find that most of your food is expired, um, which I, I mean, I go into pantries all the time and people are very different about it. But if you find that most of your food is expired and you're feeling wasteful, you know, stop throwing yourself a pity party, throw it away and make a plan to be less wasteful in your shopping habits. You know, don't buy bulk or at Costco because it's cheap and then end up with 15 cans of expired green beans because you only ate one can. You know, start only shopping what you can eat. You collectors control your clutter destiny. You are in control whether you can get organized or not. And if you're hanging on to old expired food with these limiting beliefs, you're never gonna get organized because you really only wanna keep things that are healthy, that are fresh in your kitchen. Okay, so this week's goal is to get rid of old expired food. And if you're listening to me and you're a prepper and you're freaking out and you're like, she's crazy, don't forget. I mean, this could be that spoiled milk that you've had for months in your fridge. I know you've got some rotten fruits and veggies. I understand. I'll, I'll you know, reiterate, it's hard for you to get rid of food because somehow in you know, we've all got that reptilian part of our brain, that fight or flight, that, you know, you've got to survive, that oh, that creeps in. And it tells you that getting rid of food or losing food, you know, equals basically that you're going to starve to death. But in actuality, look around and you have a complete abundance of food and that thought is completely irrational. So even if you can't bear to get rid of food that you're prepping, I know you can find something rotten or expired in your fridge or that you let sit out for long. So don't focus on culling your stockpile of canned goods if you're a prepper afraid to get rid of anything. I mean, just go for something not so fresh in the fridge. Like I said, I know there's something in there. You cannot tell me that there isn't something disgusting in your fridge because I've gone into all of your fridges for almost a decade and I've never found a spotless fridge without something expired or gross or growing or science project in it. So if if not in the fridge, like I said, look underneath, <laughs> look underneath the table, look on the counter. Is there anything rotting there? We're just trying to tackle not only expired food, but we're trying to tackle those limiting beliefs of being wasteful and starting to just clear clutter out of our house. Like I said, everything that you're eating should be fresh and healthy anyway. So keep that in mind, my dear collectors, as you call expired food in our clutter-free summer challenge, week number seven, our last week, week number eight, is next week and if you've stuck through the whole challenge i would love to hear from you and hear about how you were able to start this fall 2018 with way less stuff collectors if you are watching on youtube make sure you're subscribed click that like button on all my videos and leave a comment until next time collectors remember Happiness is a place between too little and too much. This has been Hoardganized with Rachel CV. New episodes are available every Sunday at 6 p.m. and also on the Collector Care YouTube channel. Download Rachel's Affirmations for Collectors on iTunes or Amazon.com or sign up for Rachel's blog at CollectorCare.com and receive seven tips for clutter-free living. Thanks for listening.